Every time I visit Vegas, I make it a point to visit all the popular places in the city. The last time I was here, I was at Madame Tussauds one morning when I got an offer from a travel app for a discounted dinner reservation. The offer got triggered because I was inside a well-defined geofence. As a tourist and a big-time foodie, I should be jumping at these offers. But it was only 11 in the morning, and I, I don't think about dinner so early in the day. Lame. <laughs> the app... Wasted. Wasted advertising. <laughs> what about you, Kate? Like, how do you decide your dinner plans when in Vegas? I, I, I stumble around, and wherever I land, that's where I land. <laughs> I could use some help. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we are here for. <laughs> yeah. So it's obvious that not everyone thinks about dinner at the same time and at the same place. So the big question is, why are we not taking these different user preferences into account while giving app geofence-based offers. Now, normally, I, will wo I work in the Adobe research team, but for today, I'll be playing the role of a marketer for a travel app. And my job is to increase the restaurant bookings through the app. I'm about to show you how we can do this much more effectively by coupling app usage data with location. Because if we do that, we can get a very strong sense of how users' preferences change in the context of location. Using the Places UI, which is currently in beta, I have set up some geofences around popular locations along the Vegas Strip. Now, I did this only based on the popularity of venues. And to include customer intent into this consideration, the Adobe research team has developed a new way of visualizing app usage based on location. Now, looking at this map of Las Vegas, I see hotspots of varying intensity. This is evidence that users interact with app more at some locations and less in others. The data is coming from Adobe Analytics for users who have opted in for usage tracking and getting location-based offers. But this heat map is for total app activity. But my job is to increase the restaurant bookings. So I'll filter the app activity by restaurant searches. Time of day is another important dimension. So I'll link choose evening hours here. Now pay attention, everyone. This is where things will get really interesting. <laughs> a powerful machine learning algorithm has broken a user set into some different and interesting user segments. For example, for the pink segment, I'm seeing that users are using the app more at the locations like High Roller, the Adventure Dome, and the Stratosphere. I guess people feel hungry after getting a dose of adventure at these venues. If I change it to Purple segment, I see a completely different behavior. Because here I'm seeing activity around the Caesars Palace and the MGM Grand. This is where shows like Absinthe and Cirque du Soleil's car happen in the evening. These hotspots are money because these are the perfect places I should push my offers for restaurant reservations. This view alone is so great. I can design my geofences in a much better fashion. But with Adobe Sensei, I can do it in one click. Now you can see here the recommended geofences, each of them being 500 meters greater than size, is being shown in purple. And this is dramatically different from the ones I designed, which are shown in blue. This reflects the marketing opportunities that I would have missed if not for this new technology. Wow, nice. Wow. One more benefit of this technology is, now because I know more about my user segments, let's say because this user segment likes to go to shows, so I can cater personalized app messages for them as well, so that it creates a better user engagement. 
To sum up, context is no longer the future of digital marketing. It is the present. Users expect brands to reach out to them when and where they want it. And this technology will allow you to do exactly that. Woo! Wow. You tell me I could have gotten 20% off my lunch. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Anker. And beautiful to look at as well. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Anker. Thank you. One of the things I love.